Do you know that Holy Quran is the complete guidance for all human mankind? It is crucial to not only read but truly understand the Quran to enjoy a great experience in this world and the hereafter. Are you ready to start learning Quranic Arabic language? Let's start inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim One humble request before we start Al Quran Institute is a Quranic dawa and educational institute we would like to reach many others like you so your assistance will be greatly appreciated if you benefit from our videos please like share and subscribe our YouTube channel Jazakallahu khairan we have studied nominal sentence or jumla to ismiya in lesson 14 and we learned its components such as mubtada and khabar. Today we shall learn verbal sentence or jumla to fi'iliya and its three key components such as fi'il, fa'il and maful inshallah. Okay, let us remind ourselves a little bit more about verb. We learned in lesson 5 that a verb is a word indicating an action by one or more persons in the past, present or future tense. The verbs are mainly divided into two, past tense, madi, and present or future tense called mudari. Arabic verbs are mostly tri-lettered, that is, they are based on the roots of three consonants like kafara, shakara, fa'ala. To indicate patterns of the verbs, grammarians use the letters of the verb fa'ala. The fa represents the first consonant, the ayn represents the second consonant, and the lam represents the third consonant. In a simple trilettered verb, the fatah is placed on the first and last letters, but dhamma, fatah, or kasra, any of them could be placed on the middle letter. So fa and la, they are constant with fatah, but ayn kalima could take dhamma, fatah, or kasra. Let us look at verbal sentence now. Verbal sentence in Arabic is called jumla tul fi'iliya. By its name, it is clear that it is a jumla, means sentence, which starts with a fi'il. That's why it's called jumla tul fi'iliya. Example here is a jumlatul failure or a verbal sentence. Qatala Dawudu Jaluta. Qatala is a verb. It came at the beginning of the sentence, so this will be a jumlatul failure because it started with a fail. In English, the name is called verbal sentence because it started with a verb. Nominal sentence is called jumlatul ismia. The name itself suggests that the sentence starts with an ism. That's why it's called Jumlatul Ismiya. So coming back to Jumlatul Fi'iliya, sentence starts with a verb or fi'il. So fi'il is the first component of a Jumlatul Fi'iliya. What is the second component of Jumlatul Fi'iliya? That is fa'il. Fa'il is called subject or doer. So fa'il can be hidden or built in within the verb or it can be external. And the last point to remember, Sometimes the file is followed by an object and that object is called maful. So we can see there are three elements in a jumlatul failure. First is fail, second is file. File can be hidden inside the fail or it could be external. Number three, sometimes the fail is followed by an object and that is called maful. Okay, just to summarize. A verbal sentence usually contains three parts. One is verb or fail, one is subject, doer or fail, and the third one is object or maful. Alhamdulillah. Let's learn a little bit more about fail. So we said fail is the subject or doer of the verb. Fail can be hidden or built in or external. External file only appears with two types of verbs whose hidden file is hua or hia. So the fail or the verb who has got the hidden file hua or hia, they might have an external file. If the hidden file of the verb is other than hua or hia, then they will not have any external file. I'll repeat. If the hidden file of a verb 
is not huwa or hiya, then this verb will not have an external file. External file will only occur when the hidden file is huwa or hiya. Last point, a rub or case ending of external file is always marfu with dhamma. We studied irab briefly in the earlier lessons. The last component, maful. Maful is an object and gives more details about the verb. It is the recipient of the action or the one who is affected. Maful has got another name called maful bihi. It means answer to question. What? Who? Whom? Is maful bihi. When an object in a sentence answers the question, what, who, whom, that object will be called mafule bihi. Now, something more to know on that. How do you recognize that? You will recognize mafule bihi or the object in a sentence by its irab nasab or looking at the last haraka as fatah. So, we have just learned a type of maful called mafule bihi. For you to know, so this mafule bihi is the direct object. I am now going to show you some examples of fa'il, hidden and external, and maful. Please pay attention. Qatala Daudu jaluta. It means Daud killed jalut. Qatala is the fi'il, the verb. Qatala means he killed. So, qatala, the verb itself, has got a hidden file. Qatala means he killed. So, he is the hidden file here. It's also called built-in dua. Sometimes it's also called internal file. So, qatala has got built-in file, which is he. In Arabic, it's huwa. So, as we said, if the fail has got a hidden file, either huwa or hiya, it may have an external fa'il. If katala didn't have hua or hia there, then it will not have an external fa'il. So, daudu is possibly the external fa'il here. Now, out of the two words, daudu and jaluta, why have we identified daudu as external fa'il? Because we learned earlier that the external fa'il will have Dhamma at the end, giving the marfu status. Its irab is marfu. Please note, when an external file appears after the fi'il, the hidden file is taken over by the external file. So, katala means he killed. Daud is there in marfu form, which is external file. Now, it will not be called he killed. It will be called Dawood kill. Dawood has taken over the position of the hidden file. So, external file takes over the hidden file's position. Similarly, Shariba Zaidun. Shariba Zaidun al Kahuata. Zaid drank the coffee. Shariba is the fail and it has got hidden file called Hua. He drank. So, there is a possibility because the hidden file is Hua then an external file might come and we can see next to Shariba, Zaidun is there and it has also got Dhamma. It is in a marfu state. So, Zaidun is definitely the external file and because Zaidun is the external file, it will take over the hidden file which is Hua here. So, the sentence will read, Zaid drank the coffee. I hope this is clear. Now, let's look at Maful here. In both the sentences, we have got maful. First sentence, Qatala Daudu Jaluta. Daud killed Jalut. As we know, if the answer to the question, who, whom, or what, then that word will be an object or maful. Who did Daud kill? He killed Jalut. So Jaluta actually originally was Jalutu. It's a name. But because it is playing the role of an object here, maful here, it has taken fata at the end. So its irab, its case ending, its status has become mansub with fata. So that's how maful works. If we look at the other sentence, Shariba Zaidun al-Kahuata. 
al kahwata was originally al kahwatu however because in the sentence al kahwatu coffee is playing the role of an object or maful here how if you ask the question what did he drink he drank coffee so coffee is the answer to the question what here so that is the maful and that's why instead of al kahwatu it has changed this haraka there and it's showing the status as mansub or nasab taking fata i hope you find it easy and inshallah we will have a lot of exercise about this matter and you will find it much much easier inshallah alhamdulillah we have reached the end of this lesson i hope you found it helpful one request before you go al quran institute is a quranic dawa and educational institute we would like to reach others like you so if you benefited from this video please share with others and most importantly please subscribe our channel and like the videos don't forget to watch other video series on quranic arabic course barakallahu fikum rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim amin ya rabbal alamin subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta أستغفرك وأتوب إليك